Ready? What's up, dude? <laughs> Tess is filming me. I don't know what she wants me to do. Oh, is this for YouTube? Is it? It's up to you. Okay, just keep filming. All right. So, today we made another investment. Investments always feel good. Don't show it yet. It's not ready for the unveiling. Investments always feel great because you need to invest in things to be able to be more efficient, more profitable, and stuff like that. But it also really kind of sucks, you know, because you have to put money out and uh, you're tied into it. But look at this thing. We got a cool new trailer, you know. I'm not going to be one of those dudes towing a massive trailer with a 1500 truck. It's just not going to happen. So we went and got this old butte, 6x10, dump trailer. Still trying to figure out these doors, though. take a look underneath oh well it's got uh oh look at that it's got nice brakes brakes that's like the number one thing because when you have a single axle trailer and it's meant for like six thousand pounds and you load that thing up to like three thousand four thousand six thousand pounds and you're towing with it it's like a seesaw and all that weight goes right on the tongue right on the back of your truck so we're beefing up the suspension. As you guys know, I got the messed up bumper on the truck. I have a new bumper sitting in my garage. I just haven't put it on yet because I haven't put the suspension on yet. But another business upgrade. Um, where'd we get it? Tex, Big Tex, is that what it's called? Um, <laughs> so it also has the slots here to go in so you can build your own, you know, your wall. But I mean, I, I like it. It's, what is it, 2,000 pounds? It's a light trailer. It's heavy, but it's light. Check this out. We're going to actually lift it up. Oh, actually, before that, check this out. Ready? Boom. All right. So, I'm actually going to put this on here. It's actually what it's for, just to hold cables together. All right. So, no trickle charger or anything like that yet. We're going to get one. Uh, I'm definitely going to get one because I've seen guys say that they... You know, if this thing was full of stone, they can only get like two or three dumps before they have to charge it. Um, but we're not gonna be using it that crazy all the time. It's mostly just for wood, mulch, the occasional stone, um, stuff like that. I'm just happy to have it because having that single axle trailer is just a nightmare. But let's let's raise this thing up. Let's see what happens. Let me get the cord through this appropriate place. Oh, oh, one more thing. Look, it's got the breakaway thing too. You hook this to your to your truck. And if you were to ever come disconnected to this thing, it would slam the brakes on on the trailer. That's quite high, huh? I thought it, that's 45 degrees. It says 45 degrees. Yeah, just about. I mean, are we supposed to have like a jack or something in the back? Probably not here. Come around here, let me show you the, uh... oh, that's nice, man. I'm, I'm glad to have two, two apples. So, um, I'll probably protect these with something some type because i mean every trailer that i've ever used every time you back in over brush or something like that these just get ripped out um but never go underneath there without putting the safety bar up it's kind of funny you have to go underneath there to put the safety bar up see dead oh i guess you would lower it down and put it in this little pocket here um a lot of guys have been talking about all right the... take your hand out from underneath <laughs> all right got you and your head a lot of people have been talking about the, the single ram versus the dual ram. Obviously, if you're doing heavier things or you have a bigger trailer, your a dual ram is going to be better. But I guess the single ram is faster. What? My hand? He's put his hands, head, face, and toes. Oh, no. oh check this. Let me show you this, too. I didn't know this. Well, I guess I, I could kind of tell because of the color of the fluid. But this, this fluid in here is actually, see how it's low right now? See the fuel, uh, the fill line? See how it's low? Watch as I, watch as I put it down. Show me down real quick. 
So, so all that, that fluid is coming back to the reservoir now. Okay. And a tip is he said, you never want to fill this thing with that up because all that fluid will be in the, the hydraulic. And then when it comes down, oh, it'll blow up pretty much. Um, and this is not hydraulic fluid. I would think that it would be hydraulic fluid, but fortunately I can see that it's red. So it leads me to believe that it's automatic hydro, uh, automatic transmission fluid. I probably wouldn't have thought of that myself right away until the guy told me, don't go doing that. But we shouldn't have to do that for a while. Um, I'm happy with it. Got it, got it brand new, pretty good deal. Um, it's gonna make us pretty good money, I believe. Because right now, every time we get stone, the jobs that we've done, we've had to put stone on the trailer, go back to the landscape supply, get more because we're way over the capacity of the trailer. We didn't have sides on it, so we were taking wooden fence panels and putting them on the side just to stop the stone from falling around. I got pulled over once for having, you know, unsecure brush. We're going to get the, the thing that closes over this, you know, to keep things in. This is just going to be so much better. We can dump stuff down and, and get rid of it, get it off the trailer and... You know what I just thought of? You know how when, we, when we're bringing stuff to a, to a work site or to a job site and the trailer has like sawed on it or something and we're also doing a tree job in the back and we can't start loading the debris up because there's mulch or stone or something in here. We could dump the stone or dump the mulch on a big tarp. I've seen a lot of guys do that. And then while that's getting put away, we could also fill this now. So it's not gonna be, this is great. This is awesome. So I'm gonna lock this You're up. You're sold, huh? I'm pretty sold. Watch this. Watch me lock it. It's got this cool little key thing that goes in the lock. It's really neat. Like that. You don't want any hoodlums, any degenerates trying to steal your stuff. Is this the key? Is there two keys on this thing? Is yours different? Oh, wait. Nope. Aha, nobody's getting in there now, mother truckers. All right, so this is the B wise commander trailer <laughs> dump trailer command i gotta say it for the youtube algorithm it's the commander wait what is it this is the six by ten B wise commander dump trailer hopefully the algorithm will pick up on that i gotta put that at the beginning of the video but anyways look guys we're pulling it with the uh 2500 or sorry 1500 sorry i got big dreams the hemi the engine has plenty of power to pull this thing it has plenty of power to pull it because this weighs 2000 pounds we can really only put uh what was it 42 or 4500 pounds in it 4920 4, yeah yeah because my capacity is just underneath uh, 7000 and i don't want to beat the crap out of my truck because if i don't have a truck then i don't have a business really but we have two trucks but still um so we're gonna try to just treat it nice and, and see where it goes that's uh that's my trailer.